Hi, you guys. So baby man. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, he sees a puppy dog running. Can you guys see that little puppy dog running? Oh, baby, who's there? Oh, OTD, have on leggings, and 4K leggings, sumptuous colors. There they are. Yes, gorgeous. Leggings, you can get it. M4Kclothing.com. M4K clothing. Just here at the desert, there's people in there. So, what's new? Well, just love and life. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, I don't know. I don't know. They're socializing. Ant. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. I got bitten by an ant. Hey, back up. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> now, there's a good grandfather that lets his son drive and uh, cart. The other day, a little girl was with her grandfather, and I suggested that she's sitting in his lap and drive the cart and he was like, oh no, it was like, oh. but uh, I said, go to a, you know, a parking lot or something. So we got trees here, we got nature here. So you guys that have been following me for quite a while, yeah, I'm getting a lot of peer pressure. I'm getting a lot of peer pressure and it's really getting to me. But you know what? I've had peer pressure my whole life. I've had society's pressure my whole life and I didn't listen to it then and I'm not about to start listening to it now because I couldn't have accomplished what I accomplished had I been a people pleaser. Do you have people like that in your life that tell you, oh, you shouldn't have your hair that color and that looks cheap like a whore? I didn't ask you. <laughs> yeah, well, I just want your life to be good. Well, then get your nose out of my business, out of my closet. How about that? Let me be me. If I want to be an old lady, 60 year old, 62 year old, old Barbie doll, then I will be. And that makes me happy. <laughs> Being an old frumpy dumpy virtue signaling old secretary, I was never a secretary. Why would I suddenly start dressing like one? And it's like, why would I erase my past off me if I enjoyed my past? I enjoy being a dancer. Hold on, I've got to clean up some poop. Why would I suddenly start looking like somebody else with somebody else's life? It's sort of like if a warrior came off the battlefield, right? And uh, hold on, I gotta clean up this poop. And he's like, you know, he's been on the battlefield and he's, he's got his armor and his fatigues and he, he's all of a sudden gotta start dressing like some artistic guy in an art gallery. And he's just like, mm, I'm not feeling that. I'd rather wear my army stuff and my but you're not in the army now. Well, that doesn't matter. I still enjoy it. It's who I was. And I'm not going to start dressing like some artsy fartsy guy just because you guys are like that. That's not me. I'm an artist. I'm not an artist. I'm a warrior. And I'm going to continue, even though I'm not on the battlefield, I'm going to continue to dress similar to the way I was. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, uh, my nose is dripping. I've been, uh, my health under stress. My dad died, if you guys know, if you followed, if you watched the video, I mentioned about that. So I'm still getting over that. I was very close to my dad, as you guys know. But you guys know me. You know me. And uh, I tried on that virtue signaling ugly ass BS. It's fine if you enjoy that. You do that. But I don't want to do that. And I want to find somebody that likes what I am. That's like, not goes, uh, no, that's nasty. 
You're great. You're not classy enough for us. You're not elite enough. You're not honorable enough for us. Well, good. Good. I don't want to be there. If I'm not on, if you can't respect me and honor me exactly the way I come, with my frosted hair and my, they call this vain attention seeking. Anyway, I keep going to harping on and on. I need to let it go. This is a cute doggy. This is a cute doggy. Bing. Hi. Your dog is so cute. Hi dear. Well, hello there, cuteness. Oh, you don't walk, you prance. Yes, you do. Oh, hi, dear. Getting this cuteness on here. Hi, dear. Oh, you are a very precious baby. Is it a mix? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got some, uh, oh, what uh, a dachshund. Dachshund. I saw the dachshund, but there's something. Eagle. Oh, he's cute. Where would some black spots come from? Yeah, what? Uh, like, kind of dachshund. They call it dachshund. Oh, man. He's the, the really cute. Was it a specialty dog you ordered? Or did it just come? No, she uh, was a rescue. Oh, see, sometimes those rescues are happy, yeah. cute, and very sweet too. She to an older lady who couldn't afford her medical bills. She was 12. Ah, see, what a uh, what a gift, huh? Yeah, she was a rescue. And it, and it was your little miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. We got way more energy than I thought a 12-year-old. <laughs> yeah, I can see by the prance in her walk. Sweet. So yeah, this is what I'm dealing with. You guys have seen me go through so much. I've shared with you when I was in Malibu. I shared with you when I was in Vegas, and here I am in the desert. And uh, yeah, just uh, I got a psychic reading from Pam Georgiel. I love her, and she saw me uh, healing, needing to vacation, needing to heal needing to, you know, just self-care. And uh, she saw me doing shadow work, which is like uh, another psychic said I needed to explore about my, I uh, see a shaman. Oh, this Pam said I needed to see a shaman, which I'm going to see Lynn Miller. I'm going to get a reading from her. And I'm very excited. So she's sort of a shaman. She's like been very healing for me. And she mentioned about this my sexuality. Okay, you guys, I cry when I reach orgasm, but I cried at my wedding. It's a very, when you meet up with God and it's, it's freaking mind bending, it's like a portal. Why wouldn't you cry? I mean, it's the most poignant, beautiful experience. Why would I want to change that? I mean, if your partner understands it's not agony, tears of agony, it's tears of joy. Why would they want to take that from you? Why do people want to change you? That's the thing. It's like, that's, that's what's annoying. Beanie loves these little mud water puddles. They're cold now because it's cooling down. Got another doggy. Oh, we know this doggy. Yeah, that ants bit me. That ants bit me. That's the only thing about going barefoot. You stand the risk of getting bitten by an ant. Who's that, Beanie? Who's coming up here? I don't know if you can see that. See that? Who's coming up here? Your little friend? Is that your little friend, Beanie? Butterfly. Do you see that butterfly? Butterfly. Who's that? Hi. Hi, dear sweetheart. Oh. Yeah, we want to play. Yeah. Oh, understandable. Oh, oh, Beanie likes to play. Beanie likes to play. <laughs> Is it a puppy? Yeah, about a year and a half. That's why puppies need to play, don't they? Hi, dear puppy He loves everybody. Oh, yes, he does. Whoopsie. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> hey, thanks for letting him say hi. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Puppy, the puppies. Oh, the little puppies love everybody. Yeah, they haven't been bitten or scolded or, or crimped in or dumbed down or crushed yet. <laughs> Give a little more life and then some other dog will come and say, nah, 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 nah. Just a puppy over here, just doing my puppy thing. Anyway. So we're talking about growing old gracefully. 
I mean, that's a personal thing. How do you grow old, Grace? Like, you never think this day will come where it's like, you know, it's like, what do you, what are you doing? What are you saying with your appearance? Are you dressing for yourself? Are you dressing for God? Are you dressing for life? I always said, life is a celebration. Look at this child. I don't know if you can see him, but he's in there. He's got American flags and he's so cute. Yeah, it's like, I always said, people said, why are you so dressed up? And I said, life, the celebration, you guys know. I've toned it down. I don't wear the chokers. I don't wear the jewelry. I keep repeating myself, but this is what I'm dealing with. And, um, you know, as your body gets more and more bony, more and more saggy, more and more wrinkled, you know, I still don't think you have to stop being feminine. I don't think you have to stop being yourself. Uh, you know, your hair's going to get whiter, but you don't have to dye it brown. I don't even have brown hair anymore. It's like, it's like gray and silver. Like right around my face, it's really white. So that brown hair just comes out like bad roots. I, and I'm getting pressured to dye my hair brown. I don't want it brown. I don't like it brown. I can't imagine somebody forcing you to do something that is so repugnant to you. It is mental cruelty, really. It's mental cruelty. I can't even... I can't even fathom it. If somebody really cared about you, they wouldn't want to cause you mental pressure and strain and strife. But, oh, there's a red bird, a big, gorgeous red bird. Can you see that in the branches? Right up there. Right up there. Right up there. Red bird, red bird. Beautiful red bird. And there's the ducks, you guys. The ducks. Yeah, I can't imagine. It's like if a guy had a... a, a didn't want to, he had hated red hair. Maybe he had red hair as a kid. And he hated his red hair and he just, he loved his friend's hair that was like normal. And so he wanted that normal, whatever normal is. He wanted whatever hair. So he dyes his hair. Look at, look at Elvis Presley. He had kind of blondish hair and he dyed it dark because he wanted to be like a man. You know, it's like, yeah, when Elvis Presley's hair went white, but imagine if he's Bob, Pastor Bob Joyce. Imagine if somebody came up to Pastor Bob Joyce and said, you need to dye your hair brown. It's like, fuck off you, fuck it. This is what it is. That's the way I feel about my hair. It's like, get out, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. What color my hair? Everybody gets a right over their own body. Yeah, they do. So, um. So, yep, yep, yep. Anyway, I'm, my heart's churning, my stomach's churning, my lungs are like inflamed. I've got to heal myself. I've got to let go of people pleasing and putting, uh, you know, they talk about idol worship. Idol worship is you put, it's people pleasing. It's where you put other people's opinions over God's. And God talks to each one of us individually. Now this is uh, the fountain that I've told you about. Look at the, the rainbow colors. I don't know if you can see the rainbow colors in it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it symbolizes the love and eternal uh, fountain that comes from God. That is, uh, it's for the indigenous children that were um, sex trafficked, but it also means so much more because God's love is, is healing. And uh, my hair is like the froth of the fountain. Don't worry, my, my dog's friendly. No, okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? This is Beanie. Oh. Oh, I'm so, we're so honored that she would, she would uh, say hello. Oh, but now she's behind Mama. Is Mama say? Yeah, I know. We do everything with the, you know, just a, a little, to put a little flair on it. I guess they call it attention-seeking vanity. We do it. We do it as artistic gifts of expression. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. So, um, this woman that just walked by chopped off her hair and it looks like it's dyed kind of a blonde but 
it's not how I want to do things. I don't like, I don't, I would never do that for as an older woman. It's fine if she wants to do it, but I don't want to do that. Is she more virtuous than me because she did? I don't think so. I think God wants us to express ourselves the way we truly are, be authentic to our true. It's like when I paint a painting, I don't want to paint somebody else's idea of what a painting is. I don't want to dress myself in somebody else's idea of what God looks like or what God wants. It's like it, it comes authentic to each one of us individually. I like putting some hair extensions on until my own hair grows out. And then even then I might augment it a little bit if it's straggly looking. I mean, glamour and beauty, I don't think God uh, intends for us to make ourselves homely in order to get love or be included. Make yourself dumpy, frumpy, and ugly, and then you can come to the party. That's not godly. That's not godly. Anyway, I don't want to go round and round and round about this. I just talk about it endlessly, and it's wearing me out, frankly. It's wearing me out. And uh, when you know, you just know. You don't need to defend. I mean, if somebody comes at attacks you and says, hey, you're not going to get dinner tonight because you look too pretty. It's like, well, now what do I do? But I don't think God is going to put me on, a, on an inhospitable world where just being me is, is grounds for attack. That can't be true. That's not God. And uh, if we stand, even as a martyr for truth, then it's worth being attacked for if we stand for what we believe in. And I believe in art and artful appearance and freedom of expression. Uh, I don't like this hive mind uh, communistic Druze. It's a Druze religion, you guys. It's the Druze religion. And they really believe that if you look meek and humble and just ugly and <laughs> I'm all, I'm ugly and I, I 